who the God woke up life office. Thank you for joining us today to learn more about the Word of God. Today we but first let us open pledge to the Bible. I am pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path, and hide its word in my heart, that I may not sin against God. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag, to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One brotherhood uniting all mankind in service and in love. Amen. So today we are going to be learning that it is not what it seems. Don is a border collie who lives on a farm in South Lancashire, Scotland. One morning, he and his owner, Tom, set out to check on some animals. They rode together in a small farm utility truck. When they arrived, Tom left the vehicle but forgot to put the brake on. With Don in the driver's seat, the vehicles rolled down a lane, a hill, and across two lanes of traffic before it stopped safely. To the watching motorists, it appeared the dog was out for a morning drive. Indeed, things are not always as it seemed. So, today we are going to be reading out of Second Kings verse 8 through 17. You haven't said amen? Amen. Now the king of Syria was making war against Israel, which and he consulted with his servants, saying, My camp will be in such a place. And the man of God sent the king to Israel, saying, Beware that you do not pass this place, for the Syrians are coming down here. Then the king of Israel sent someone to the place of which the man of God had told him. Thus he warned him, and he was watchful there, not just once or twice. Therefore, the heart of the king of Syria was greatly troubled by this thing, and he called his servants and said to them, Will you not show me which of us is for the king of Israel? And one of his servants said, None, my lord, O king, but Elijah, the prophet who is in Israel, tells the king of Israel the words that you speak in your bedroom. So is so he said, Go and see where he is, that I may send and get him. And it was told him, Surely he is in Dalton. Therefore he sent horses and chariots and a great army there that they come by night and surrounded the city. And the servant of God arose early and went out. There was an army surrounding the city with horses and chariots. And his servant said to him, Alas, my master, what shall we do? So he answered, Do not fear. For those are who are with us are more than those who are with them. And Elijah prayed and said, Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw, behold, the mountains was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elijah. It seemed like as if Elijah and his servant was about to be captured. It's like they were about to win the war. But it wasn't the army. It was the king's forces surrounded the city. The servant who believed that was doomed. But Elijah said, 
Don't be afraid. You know, that's very important. Don't be afraid. Those are who are with us are more than those who are with the enemy. When Elijah prayed and the servant was able to see the multitudes of supernatural forces that was in place to protect him, situations that seem hopeless are not always hopeless as we perceive them to be. When we feel overwhelmed and not numbered, remember, God is by our side. He can command his angel to guard us in all our ways. So it might seem like something bad is going to happen, but then you never know. It might not happen. It seems as if I might not be able to finish my work in time. Have you ever had to take a test and then it seemed like, oh, they didn't give you enough time to complete the test. You, you bubble in that last answer by the last second or put that last period on your test. And it felt so good to know that you had just enough time to do it and be in the beginning that you didn't think you could do it. It's not what it seems. So I hope you enjoy this lesson and let us pray out. Dear God, please give me a glimpse of your power today. Help me to believe that you are willing and able to help me in any situation I encounter. Things are always better when they seem to be when we remember that God is by our side. Let what our eyes have seen and our ears have heard rest, rule, and abide in us at this time and forevermore. May God's people say, Amen.